friend, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to yes another video. So I took yesterday off. Yesterday it rained. It rained a lot. I was pretty knackered. I actually got up to come fishing, but I looked out the window. I uh, had a chat with myself. The forecast was for it to be much better today and tomorrow, so I figured I'd take the day off, catch up on some editing, rest up, chill out. That's exactly what I did. Got another video done, started on another one, so it was well spent. Up this morning, real early. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to walk a couple of hours up this river, drop in fish up there's a hut up here which I want to stay at tonight fish up a tributary tomorrow and then do the big walk out tomorrow night the river's up definitely up but you can still see into it and it should drop real quickly so potentially I've timed this really well and it could be amazing whatever happens we we'll have a look around it's somewhere new I know there's some good fish in here and I'll try and catch one I'll put this camera away put my head down pick up the pace. I'll uh, check in with you fellas in an hour or two. Is it too early for some lollies? I don't think so. Oh, party mix. Oh yeah. Oh. Strawberry goodness. This is more like it. This is the kind of water we want. I'm gonna make this quick because the sand flies in here are the worst ones yet. It's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. So this is about where I think I'm gonna start fishing from. Looks like the water's getting a little bit more stable here and just looking at the map, I think I've got a, a big day's fishing up to the hut from here. I'm still super early, it's only half eight. Sun's still just trying to poke up over the, over the ridges there. So I'm gonna get ready and then just start picking my way up and uh, try to find something to catch. Yes, this is Sandfly City for sure. <laughs> Sandfly. I'm going to stick with a six weight, mainly because it was the first rod I came to in the rod chip. I got a five weight in there as a backup rod, and if like I'll, I need it or want to use it. But um, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying the six weight at the moment. I don't use the six weight much back home, so it's kind of nice to to use it for a change. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, these sand flies are many. <laughs> as soon as I uh, basically got well, to the sand, you know, to the river edge and stopped moving, it was like instant swarm trying to get in my, get in my buff. Oh, this is a mess. Let's just tidy this up. I don't know what I was doing. Uh, pretty much just going to run the same same setup as I've been using the last few days. I've actually been down here like a week now. Kind of forgot that first trip was four days. I'll link that up here and go watch that trip. That was pretty cool. So that was four days. And then the day after that, I just did that short day trip. I'll link that up here if you haven't watched it. It's a pretty fun day. And then yesterday was a down day. And here we are. Six weight, D, 3D, whatever you want to call it. The Hydros 2 reel in a pretty funky lime green, which I'm digging. Six weight Scientific Anglers Infinity Smooth. Seven foot floating poly leader. And then about, I've got about six feet of 3X down to two and a bit feet of 4X. And that's what I'm going to start with. I'm just going to put a transport fly on and then uh, just try and find a fish. And then set up for it. I'm a big fan, especially when you know, you know, the majority of your fishing is going to be sight fishing. I'm a big fan of like not guessing what rig to put on. Just put something on, get walking, find a fish, and then set up for it. So that's it. Good. And have a wee drink here. And then get wandering, I suppose. I've got heaps of time. I want the sun up. When I first saw it and it was low, it had this kind of 
honey coloured look to it. Um, this is just a little bit worse than usual for the actual because of the actual water. But that water is actually super clear. If you look in the edges, it's crystal clear. There's just more water than normal in there. So I'm gonna go find a fish on an edge, try and catch that. Okay, people, let's do this. Found a fish, hard on the bottom and that deep glary stuff. Um, I'm surprised I haven't spooked it because I was pretty much like right on top of it when I saw him. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, well, I think he's still there. He was still there when I dropped back to take my pack off. I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to go North Island styles and uh, nymph him with an indicator. I know any South Island fishermen will scoff at me for even considering doing that, but I can't see anything. I'm on my own. I've got no chance of seeing this fish and I've got no buddy here to, you know, call it for me. So I'm going to go with an indicator. I might be a bit light on this. I can always add some split shot rather than go too heavy and hit the bottom straight away. Hit the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to go for a UV pheasant tail. It's actually been doing well for me down here. Oh, these sand flies, I tell you. You know, the ones I hate the most are the ones that um, they get up underneath the arms of your sunnies and then just, oh, that's one got me. And then, uh, just go to town on the side of your head. So I'm gonna go a real small indicator, small tubing. Yeah, it's surprising actually how much weight these uh, little indicators will hold up. And I'm gonna go maybe five feet deep. Got him. Sick. Ooh. It's a strong fish. Oh, I don't like you over there at all. Just trying to shorten the distance a bit between me and the fish, get more across. He knows where he's going. He's trying to get as much of that fly line out of the water as I can. What is up with this fish? there I don't have my net which is an issue he's literally going up that rapid should I have my net here we go coming down sorry buddy you're gonna have to come this way I really want him over this side of the river and down here in this quieter water. So this is when having a buddy on the net really helps. Oh yes! Holy hell, I, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think he was that big. Um, but I hooked him down here, just down here. And he took me all the way up into the top of that rapid over there like he was gonna go up into the next piece of water. I eventually followed him up there, turned him, and we came all the way back down here. And I landed him down the bottom there. It was a hell of a scramble, hell of a fight, a hell of a fish. Oh wow, if I can find a few of those. In the next couple of days. That's gonna be awesome. Good old North Island nymph thing, eh? So I'm just up in the next piece of water and I've, believe it or not, I've found another fish. 
and this looks dry droppery before I carry on I've got to replace uh, my leader from the 4x join uh, all the way down well from there down because uh, in that fight I've got to drag through some real big boulders you know what I'm just gonna replace the whole lot from the tippet ring down that 3x has been on there a while like I can't recommend that you do this enough if you're at all unsure about the structural integrity of your leader or tippet air on the side of caution and just retire it actually doesn't take you that long and uh you'd be glad you did when you hook a big fish five six or it's about seven feet Ooh, might have gone a little bit overkill on that but that's okay and then and then 16 70 feet a leader here and i think i'm gonna go a royal wolf Just because it's a bit glary. Hopefully I can see this a bit better. This is the one of the ones Reese from NZ Fishing Flies tied me up for this trip. And they were working well the other day. Um, they weren't getting eaten, but I don't think it's anything to do with a fly. It's just it's not wasn't Royal Wolfie dry fly time. But it was doing really well at, um, holding up like double tongues and nymphs and bubbly water so it was good we're running out of this 4x pretty soon i want to go for another uv uh oh because i did the job on that last fish all right we are retired got royal wolf maybe two and a half feet tip it and then a little flashback uv barbless crushed bit of lube boomtown Sick. Well, I love this river. Cool green back brown trout. It's another good fish too. Oh yeah. This is where I'm really glad I changed my tip it up. It's a beautiful fish. These are such strong fish. Just it's unbelievable how strong these fish are. Keep coming. Son of a bitch. I don't want to be down here. I'm in trouble here. Yes! Oh! Yes! What a fish! What a fish! First cast, you just hiffed right, ate that little uh, UV pheasant tail, like you've been waiting for it all morning. And then boom, it was on. And I just, because those massive shoulders and the size and the weight of them, I couldn't, I just couldn't turn them. And I ended up down the bottom of that and then I was in danger of going into the rapids. So I ended up crossing and then landing him in those shallows over the back there. It was getting a bit hairy there for a while, but luckily it worked out. <laughs> it's two huge fish in about, 200 meters. Uh, this river has already exceeded my expectations and hopes. Mind blown.
what is up with this river? Everything in here is huge. Oh, 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 well, this river continues to blow my mind. The average fish in here just seems to be just tank mode. My kind of river. It's not even 11 o'clock. Could I, could I ask for one more? Pretty sure I've been another fish. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's moving. Definitely a fish. I'm really not covering much ground because, well, I'm fishing so much, which is a nice problem to have, but yeah. I'd very much like to catch this one. Looks good, like a good fish. Right, so what I'm gonna do here is keep the same rig pretty much, but just shorten the dropper a bit. Put that there. Keep the same fly, same everything. Why wouldn't I? might have looked at that. I'm a bit short. Okay, so I'm a little bit longer with the dropper. It's pretty good. Got him! Oh yeah! Hmm. Almost kind of turn him uh, back into the net. Yes! Woo. Such strong fish! another incredible fish there's just another one it took me all the way down the bottom of the run just needed to lengthen that dropper a little bit get the flies in the right place and no hesitation bang these has got to be some of the strongest trout i've maybe ever caught this could be my new favorite river i don't know maybe it's too early to say that all right so i'm just setting up for another fish just lengthening out my dropper, single fly, but I'm just going for a straight, straight up plain pheasant tail, gunmetal bead. Just a little bit more subtle. As the sun's coming out, maybe, maybe I just need to adjust the bling, you know? Right, I'm gonna leave everything here, travel light. Okay, yeah, I can get down here. Nowhere to cast. There's a tree in the way. Maybe. Nope. Didn't see it. I didn't want it. Might work. Right. You should definitely see this. What? Come for a little bit of a heavier fly. Not even looking. Yes, he looked. Felt like he tried to eat it. I saw his mouth go. Alright, so I added a soft tackle. It's not really where I want it. That's better. It was just moved out of the way. Too far left. You should see them. Here we go. What? Not even a, not even a look. Shit. Got him. Ah, oh, about time. Jesus. It's a fat, fat fish. Mm. 
Let's take that enough fuel. Oh, nice. Just roll. We're going downstream. Right, the soft tackle. Another one for the peacock pointer. If I could just keep you. Oh, sorry, man. It's a smacker in the head. Yes. Oh, it's a much better fish than I thought. Wicked. Dude, that was such a big fish. That's, that's fish of the day, I think, so far. That's, that was huge. Easy eight pound, maybe more. I don't know, I don't care. She was perfect. And she ended up eating the uh, peacock pointer. That's uh, the little soft tackle I go on about from NZ Fishing Flies. The link's in the description below. I highly recommend you order yourself some beaded ones and some unweighted ones. It's a really, really good fly. It's one of my favorites. I soaked up a lot of time trying to get that fish to eat, so I am going to boost upstream. Just walked past a fish. It's still there though. It's crazy, it shouldn't be. I'm not even gonna take my pack off because I don't really think I'm gonna catch this fish. Fell over. Chasing, got him. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, you're right over there amongst those boulders, which I don't like. So much line. I really want you back over here. Oh, and gone. I kind of felt like that was going to happen. Still got one of my flies back. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know what happened there. So I only walked upstream maybe 10 meters and I found another fish. This is my last peacock pointer with a bead. I've gone through these so quick. So really I want to fish to this fish from the other side, but I can't really get there. I mean, I might be able to go through there, but I reckon it's pretty deep. And I end up getting pretty close to him. Where is he? Oh, there he is, he just dropped back. I don't have much of a cast here to be honest. I did just see him eat something. Pretty good, actually. Got him. <sighs> Peacock pointer again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wow, just came right back to my feet. Look at this, like downstream again. Underneath that gorse now. What's going on here, man? Jesus! Oh, am I free? I need to get my net. I don't know where this fish is going. So I'm wrapped around something. Here he goes. Oh, dude! Now he's right over in that deep stuff, way on the other side. And I had a fight. Just got no control yet. Nothing. He's right on the other side underneath this big kind of ledge, I think. There's so much pressure on that knot. Come on. Looks like he's around something. What a run around. So because of this wrap around the head, I can't turn him very well. I'm just going to try and bring him into the shallow stuff. I don't like doing this. Ugh.
I don't know what happened, but he kind of got wrapped, hooked and wrapped around the head so I couldn't actually turn him very well. So I ended up down the bottom, under gorse trees twice, then he went over the other side, underneath the ledge on the other side, managed to get him across and I ended up right down in, in the bottom of the pool where I had to almost beach him just to kind of be able to get some kind of control. Another amazing fish. Days like this don't don't come along very often. Uh, I think I can cross here, crack on up. I've still got so much water to go through before I get to the hut. I just don't think I'm gonna end up fishing at all. here on the inside uh, swinging it a little bit just real quickly check oh yeah gotta retie that just from those uh, trees on that last fish it's super easy to just go ah can't be bothered or she'll be all right or, but you hook into a good fish and you'll immediately wish you'd done it I've done it way too many times couldn't be bothered and then lost fish because of it. Another reason why it's, uh, you know, good to practice your knots enough. You know, if you don't fish all the time, practice your knots enough so that doing this doesn't take you 20 minutes. Peacock pointer back on, rig retied, and we're good to go. This looks pretty good. no reaction at all this looks pretty good no reaction one more and i'll change the fly fly change okay little pheasant tail what hair and copper Ooh. i think he went to eat that something else cold position Oh, we had a look. All right, this is it, last fly. Flashback pheasant tail. Oh, no shit. Literally, I was winding up. That was my last cast. Ooh. Straight to the other side of the river, all of them, eh? This shallow bay behind me, I think, is going to be the goat. No, 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 no. I want you in there for a reason. Yeah! Woo! That's a big fish! Oh yeah! Literally my last cast. I'd given up. I just had one last cast with a little flashback pheasant tail. Cast it up, meh. Just started to reel in the excess line and he ate it. That's a huge fish. Massive head, just big, just big. That was, oh, what a tank. That must have been a good, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I've got at least one fish in this piece of water behind me. I've been watching him for a little bit, kind of moving around a little bit, real slowly, real casual. It's a real kind of slow current in there. And there may be another fish further up too. I'll try and get this guy at the back. Well, that looks pretty good. God, well, we might have looked at the dry then. Turning. Looking. Oh, he checked. He checked some shit out then. And I think he's gone. Looked at my dry, turned, looked at my nymph, left. There he goes. Yeah, first cast, money. Perfect. He came up, looked at the dry, Came back down, circled around, looked at the nymph, and went away. <laughs> That's a big, clever, educated fish. Found a fish. Let me get it. other side downstream. Yep, here we go. Oof. It's a good fish. I want you in here. Yeah, come on. Come on, into the edge. Come on, this is where I want you. Uh, back in here, back in here, head up. Oh. oh no, oh that was ugly, but a great fish. Woo, dude. One cast, fish came over, ate the fly, and then it turned out to just be a much bigger fish than I thought. The usual, out into the fast water on the other side, downstream, eventually got the fish in the net down there, and then this camera battery died, so hopefully it all came out on the GoPro and you got to have a good look at him, because it was beautiful. Man, what a, what a stunning fish. I don't know how big, kind of just stopped, stopped guessing. They're just all big fish. Anyway, just having a drink, having a snack, it's like quarter past four. I don't think I'm too far from the hut, so <sighs> I'm pooped. Looking forward to a coffee and a whiskey later. That's some chocolate. Stick a fork in me, because I am done. Come out half past five now. I mean, the sun's still pretty high in the sky and I could potentially carry on fishing for a while, but you know what? I've had an awesome day. Maybe one of the best days fishing I've ever had. Just a pretty cool place to hang out. So I think what I'm gonna do, make a coffee, sit down, chill, just enjoy being here.
second round of whiskey. I'm really getting into this book. Good old Chris Ryan, eh? It's about 8.30. I'm going to give it like another half an hour until it starts to get a bit darker and then I'm probably just going to crash. Get a good night's sleep. Get up in the morning. Go have a little bit of it. Explore up this tributary. See if we can catch a couple more fish before we go home. Thanks heaps for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the button. Join the team. It'd be awesome to have you along. Have yourselves a great week. Get out for a fish if you can, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.